14, I remember trying to get busy with that pole. Streets cold, let all of my sins be on You way from another country. Coming down here where it really be banging and swinging it. Brother, going around with this bitch, you gonna, have, you gonna feel very unsafe. Months after me though, we're finally back. It's like merge with heaven, back to back to back to back. When back to doing the same thing, but turned up this time. 80% of beasts down here is childhood friends. We all hung together at one time. Yeah, I do what I think. Yeah. That clapping, pin a bitch, we push them out of bounds. Niggas talking on like that ground, but never yeah. pin them down. Ain't nobody say, we ain't safe. We just going on. At all. At all. We can go down right now. Right. Right. While we hopping on the interstate, I hear Crazy. Everybody in the car here but the child. Put it on the index for you, make sure everything is accurate. And inhale and exhale then. <laughs> you get the feeling play, you shot in the face. And your little brother got killed, he's 13. Like, you just gonna let this happen? No. What you gonna do, you hear that bow? Yeah. Run with the crowd! I feel like it's fucked like it's up. That's for all of y'all, yeah! Like 12 or 13 people got shot that night. I'm on the ground like, I can't feel my legs, I can't feel my legs, I can't feel my legs. She said, we here to inform you that your son has been killed. And I'm like, huh? And my mind just went blank. That's the first time yeah, doing these kind of documentaries yeah. in Baton Rouge, where I felt very unsafe. Every year, I go to America's murder capital. Last year, I was in New Orleans. First time touching the AK at 10 years old, running up the street. You understand? We ain't never bought fireworks. <laughs> we had guns blowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's still black, black. And the brain splattered all over the floor. This year, I'm in Baton Rouge, which is looking like it's set to be the murder capital of 2024. To support me and watch this documentary fully uncut and fully unedited, Join my Patreon for little as $2.99 a month and the link will be in the description. So I'm currently in South Baton Rouge making a documentary on the trenches and the life in Baton Rouge. Prior to coming here, I was a bit skeptical. There's an active war going on right now. Um, and I've been to a lot of dangerous places and I've never felt as much on edge as I have in Baton Rouge. This record shattered in Baton Rouge. The city has seen 34 homicides in just the first three months of this year, shattering the record of 27 homicides in the first quarter of 2021. This shit pay my bills. Uh, get your dead, get your wet, one of the two. Say, man, we start shooting at four in the morning. Oh, God, this shit go in the four in the Bro, next morning. On my fucking mama. Look at my hand. I split my shit from snapping so much. My first interview was with Double O and Savage in an area called Brookstown, which is known for being the most dangerous area in Baton Rouge itself. Am I safe here with you guys? I ain't even lie, bitch. Be honest with you, no. Ain't nobody safe. You just gotta have a pole on you, bitch. Oh, you gotta no. be, you gotta build yeah, up. Buddy. Ain't nobody say, we ain't safe. We just going off. At all. At all. We just At going. All. We just going. Like, this is an everyday it lifestyle. Go down bitch. right now. You, just gotta, you gotta know how to move. You gotta know how to move. Like, you gotta go right move. Now. Lose that bitch. Why, why is it so dangerous? Why, what's happened? Make it like this. Oh, There's a whole lot of shit going on. Yeah, right lot shit going on. There's a whole lot of gang shit going on. There's a whole lot of other shit going on. There's shit everywhere. Like, it's no really gangs. Man, it's really. Like, man, it's a whole so, lot of so, groups. Oh, groups. Oh, yeah. groups. Oh, shit. Oh, groups. 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 Oh, Right. BRPD's database, the first three months of 2024 have been the deadliest in Baton Rouge in 25 years. 32 homicides since January 1st surpasses the first quarter of 2021, otherwise known as the year with the most homicides on record. And how many friends would you say you've lost to the streets? Oh, right. Ooh. This shit, us down. This is, this is, this, this, this shit, this shit infinity. I ain't gonna lie, like bro. Two minutes. I lost two, two minutes. Minute. We lost, we lost two minutes. Oh, and God, I, this shit infinity. When, when, when you do lose someone, what goes through your head? Is it a case of maybe I, I should leave or is it, I feel like I want to get back? Like, what's the feeling that you have at that stage? <laughs> this shit come with it. This shit come with it. This shit come with it. That's, 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 that's the instant shit. That's the first thing you think about. This, this, this is mandatory. You can't question God. It's mandatory. You're gonna lose someone. Don't lose people. Mandatory.
Two months after I got shot in my face, my little brother get killed. He was 13. So this somebody who taught me how to be a big brother. So now I really didn't want to change. I really wanted to be in the streets more and more and more and more. My name D. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I was shot six times at 16, six times at 18. I had a good life. Like, I played sports, ran track, played football. Um, my grandma made sure we went to church and stuff, but I drifted away from all of that at like 12, 13, I had quit. At 12, I quit sports and stuff, and I, I went to the streets because I learned how the streets treat you. And at 13, I fully was in the streets, breaking the cars, stealing guns, money, all that. At 16, like I shot six times, round the corner from here, where we at right now. So, do you talk me through the day, what happened when you got shot in the face? Um, that morning I woke up, I went in the house, I gave my sister my phone, put my phone on charger. After that, I came outside, I see my cousin and my uncle behind the van. And they like, man, your little brother just hit a lick. He up, he up, up. And I'm like, dang, let me go check on him. My little brother had just broke out of jail. And um, I had, I was hiding him, so he won't go back. And we, I had, I had, I had, they had, they had just robbed somebody that night. And I'm like, man, y'all, y'all come on, we're gonna smoke and chill. He came, he chilling, I'm walking on the back street. I came here, came through here, me and two other people came here. Walking, came this way. They had a car back then, right back there. Yeah, yeah. Came this way. Got here, got here. Then when I got like to right here, they started shooting. Started shooting at you here? I hit here. Hit, hit the ground. Boom. After I got shot, I stayed on the ground like five, six seconds. I heard a voice say, get up! Get up! I got off the ground. Came in the store, ran away. So how many times have you been shot at this moment? I was six times, got shot six times right here. So was there a case of they just shooting? I got shot in my side. Right here. Yeah, he got you. And bro, were they, so did they just hop out of the car and just start shooting? They ain't get out the car, they they stayed in the car. And after that, they drove off. How did you get shot in the face or what? Out from the car? Right here, I turned around, I looked. And they, I got shot in the face. Two bullets hit me in my face. <laughs> I got shot in my back and in my leg too. And then, so you've now been shot, and then what, what happened next? So you, I got up uh, off the ground, five, six seconds, I got up. Been, after I'm shot, I got up, off the ground. Walked in the store. What's up, bud? What's up, brother? Going, All praise be to God, brother. I'm telling, telling my testimony now. Came in the store. Hey, 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 hey. My daddy, homeboy. He was standing right too. I'm like, oh, run me to the hospital right quick. I just got shot. I'm still speaking. He could see him shot in my face. He just gave me a little look like, like you feel me? Like he gonna let me die. I cursed him out. So your friend's dad was in the shop. You've been shot six times, twice in the mouth. Yeah. And he didn't want to help the situation. Didn't want to help me. Why? I don't know. He just gave me a little look. That's insane, bro. That's crazy, right? And then, and then what would you think? What's going through your head then, bro? You've been shot six times. You think that your friend said would surely help? Yeah, I thought he was gonna help me. I just cursed him out and left out the stove. And so you've been, and then what did you do? So it came this way. I came this way. Then the dude who I was with, he met me right here. And we went that way. So at this point, stage, are you just, Leaking with blood. Yeah, I'm leaking. My face leaking. I'm leaking. I, ain't, I, ain't, I didn't know I was shot here at the time. Or I didn't know I was shot here at the time. Or I didn't know I was shot here. I just thought I was shot in my face. You didn't realize? I, did, I didn't feel the rest of them. Then you see that brick house right there? Yeah, yeah. I went there and I told my own. Um, I, I thought my daddy was there. Try taking the front. He wasn't there. You're in it. My daddy wasn't there, so I came in the street and I seen somebody else. So I'm like, run me to the hospital right quick. He didn't want to take me to the hospital. Oh, what boy? Is no one helping? I don't know. The reason why he said I didn't, I didn't, he didn't take me to the hospital because we were shooting dice when I was, this was before I got shot. He said I was thugging. And with the way I had told him, I said, if you're not BBG, F you. That still don't get no reason for not to take me to the hospital. Yeah. You feel me? Because if it was him, even if he would have said, I would have still took him to the hospital. What's going through your head and what are you doing now? I cursed him out and I went, I went to my grandma house, where we, the house we just left from. And I'm like, dang, ain't nobody helping me. So I went to the house. I'm like, dang, God, please, please don't let me die like this. In my head, that's what I'm thinking. I never spoke these words. I said, please don't let me, I know I ain't gonna die like this. That's what I'm thinking. So when I get to my grandma's house, I'm telling my mom, I just got shot. She's like, no, don't say that, D. I'm like, no, my mom, look, I just got shot. And she's seen it. Bro, crazy, bro.
And before, I just want to say thank you for sharing your story, bro. Um, and I hope this message really hits home, bro, and it changes many other people's lives and their thoughts about leading this life, bro. It's, you're, you're living proof, bro, today. It's really not worth it. Hey, man, it's not worth it, bro. It all. The ops want to recall the truce. How, how would you feel? I'm going to tell you like it, Obviously, hypothetically speaking, if that was the situation. I'm going to tell you like this. They want to call a truce, it would be on some stuff like... And do you think that's possible? It would never be possible. It couldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Because too much blood and shit. No, let me tell you something. Yeah. Once blood gets shed, it's brother, over. Ain't no coming back it's from over. me. It's never no coming back ain't from me. Ain't no coming back shit. from me. You kill my dog, I can't walk up to you and be like, whatever, bitch, it's good, don't worry about it. No, ain't, ain't no coming back from me. Spade for spade, eye for eye, oh, tag for toe, that's how they go. Ain't no coming back from me. The word of God say vengeance belongs to the Lord. I, ain't, I knew this, but I ain't care at the time. I wanted to go take vengeance into my own hands, you feel me? We be just blind, we be can't feeling played, really. Cause we be feeling played in the streets a lot. I just hate the way he died. I just felt God gave us, like we born with expired day. And he gave him, he gave him to me for 18 years. He just took his child, baby. And he, told, he always told me how much he appreciated me, how I sacrificed things for him. They, they took some apart from me that I had to learn how to live without my son. Some, I just say, God, I'm just gonna keep praying and just be served for him. I'm just gonna keep praying that they catch him. So that morning when I got woke up by the police, my youngest son came and woke me up and told me that the police was at the door. So I'm like, Lord, what Keandre and done? You know, who even hanging with? What, what happened? I didn't think it was gonna be nothing like he got murdered. So the lady said, can we come inside? I say, no, because I have my dogs in here. And um, she said, well, can you put your dogs up? I said, I can come outside and talk to you. She said, no, put your dogs up because we need to talk to you. So I went and put the dogs up and I came back to the, let them inside. And um, she was like, um, where's your son? I said, he's in the bed. Your son, Key Andre Reese. She said, I said, he's in the bed sleep. The child said, no, mom, he's not in there. I said, he's not in there. And so she said, we're here to inform you that your son has been killed. And I'm like, huh? And my mind just went blank. And she said, you know he's beefing with or having problems with? I say, no, he's not nothing like that. I say, no, I don't, I don't know anything about that. So after that, my mind just went blank and I just felt lost. Like I wanted to die even though I had other kids. Uh, um, I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink nothing, I couldn't, it's like, I was just real, real, real depressed. Like, it's a feeling you can really can't describe. See, I lost my mom, my brother, my grandma, my dad. I lost everybody. So it's, it's worse than it. Like, all it just was nonchalant. Like, that didn't even matter when I lost my son. Like, my whole world was just gone. Even though I had other kids, just like my whole, felt like my whole world was gone. And he got shot in his temple. He got shot twice in his jaw. He, I don't know where else he got shot, but when I touched his chest, it felt like all that was gone. I'm sorry to hear. But I know they said it was an overkill. I know that much. Overkill. Uh, over here. He got shot by multiple guns. Louisiana has a crime problem with three of our cities being ranked among the nation's most dangerous. The two dozen tough on crime related items on Landry's agenda for the special session are expanding methods to carry out death row executions, restricting parole eligibility, lowering the age at which young offenders can be prosecuted in adult court, and increasing penalties for certain crimes such as carjacking. They will spend a long, long time in jail. Yeah, they just made a law that uh, you got to do pretty much almost 100% of your time. See, at first you could do probation. You could do like one-fourth of your time and then come home and do the, the rest on probation or parole. But now they, the new governor we got, he cutting that short. He, don't, he won't see you in there. So if you got 20 years, you're going to do the whole 20. Do you reckon because of that you're going to see a lot more snitching? Yeah, but at the same time, what can you snitch on when they when you can't get probation no more? So now if you did the crime, you got to do the time either way or go. Oh, really? So if you snitch, all you did was get put both of y'all up. Do you think a lot of people are going to start snitching with the Most new definitely. law? Most definitely. Can you come on? Can you, can you explain what's, what's happening? Man, what they got going on right now? Shit, but like, they, try they know to, they can't do that in right Bell right because the gang ain't got that much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the city, the Ain't no gangs out here. I ain't gonna shit. say the state because them little dudes the across the river got smacked with that shit. But they got they just, different laws over there. You know they just right. started the death penalty they got back too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they got different laws over there. They, like, they, 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 they really trying to bring us back to slavery. They want us to kill each other or they want to kill us? They ain't even got no fing money like that. They want to kill each other. They want to kill each other. We're really in the loop right now. Ain't no way we can. Just name they sell for saving. I'm not gonna smack a nigga. I just done them a bit. I'm not gonna go to jail for it. They killing us two birds with one stone. Two birds with one stone. I go to jail, I ain't coming home, but I'm gonna get them filled. I know that shit.
It's a whole lot of groups and areas. And 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 well, sadly, we are turning now to another shooting. This one at a nightclub in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Police say 12 people were hurt in yesterday's early morning shooting. One of them was critically injured. Investigators have confirmed that this was a targeted attack, but so far they have not publicly identified the shooter. Three officers happened to be outside the nightclub when the gunfire started. They were able to respond immediately, which may have limited the number of casualties. Some people snuck seat down into the club from through the patio side and ended up getting shot. The bullet ended up going through my spine, leaving me paralyzed. How has that affected your life other than, I guess, physically? How, how do you reckon mentally? Mentally, it is a battlefield. I do take antidepressants now. I was the healthiest of odds. Never was the type. I was always the life of the party, but now I do take antidepressants because, you know, my mind does go there now, and that's like... Can you say mind goes there, Rev? Explain sort of what you mean. Like... Not suicidal, but it's more just like, what's... What, like, you know, what, what's my purpose? Like, what, 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 what am I here for now? Like, it's just like... I felt like I was doing what I was supposed to do, and I felt like I was punished for that, so now I was just like... I hate, even at the hospital, bro, I was like, I, I wish they would have killed me, because it was like, it was, very, it was painful. It was more or less painful, because it's like, seeing my mom go through it and stuff like that, I'm her only child, and it was, it's, it's a lot. I'm not even, I'm 29 years old, you know, so it's like, I still got a long life to live. That's heartbreaking, bro. Yeah, long life to live. But even now, I be trying, like, I still, talk, I still go. I still get up and go. I do pretty much do everything for myself. I got to drive. I do, you know, I live a, I technically live, live a normal life. I'm just in a wheelchair. Like, a lot of, and I learned a lot of stuff was in my head. Like, I was thinking, wasn't a woman going to love me? I was thinking my life was over. I was thinking, this, this wheelchair ain't stopping nothing. Yeah, but your life's, it's, life's fine, bro. I feel like it's just everything will be in your own head. Yeah, it's definitely like, and it's definitely in my head, and it's just like, you know, if anybody else is watching this and y'all are paralyzed, it's, it's, I promise you, it is all in your head. Because I don't want to say people don't care, but like, people necessarily don't care. Like, you know, like it's, we just, we're just another regular person in the world. It's just we just have, we just come with extra, I guess baggage now, which is not even baggage. Cause no, it's not. It's not baggage. It's just like, like that's one thing that's in my head. Cause I be thinking like, damn, like ain't nobody want to do this. Like, you know, like, but. Is you real or fake? Show love or hate you, ape or snake? Cause boy, I swear I'm thankful for the good and grace. I made mistakes, can say I never changed. The boot come back that ain't forever straight off. 200 a day, I bet I make a way. You know I'm good. Sick is out there, rules, but put on for the hood. Gotta do it. Just for all them trill niggas, wish they could detach my fluid. They, they open fire going down the, the side street and hit me in my shoulder and scrape a uh, joint. They interviewing they hit me right here. Scrape through the back and it come through the front. With a two two three. What's a two two three for people who don't know? What? Uh, uh, yeah, assault rifle. Assault rifle you shot mm -hmm. It's two sides of the street, right? It's the sidewalk, the middle, and the other side of the street. That's this clear side. You're thugging. Uh, you're in the middle. You're innocent protection. You feel me? So when you jump and you choose your side of the street. Stay you gotta that's stay on that side of, you can't jump back over you and then jump. Fence, you can't. You got a fence right there. You, you on your side if of the street. You on that side. You, know you on this side. Doing. You can't go to street. You know what you yeah. you know what you put yourself in. So you can't go back to trying to like some serious happen. Like I'm gonna put this for an incident like like some police like a police incident or something. Like, yeah. yeah, we straight. We straight. I just yeah, see. Yeah, I just yeah, see through the glass. I just see through the glass. Definitely good. Yeah, bro, we good. We good. And one thing I want to ask as well is, now that you've gave your life to God, how do you feel about your ops now? Oh, I love them. I want them to get their life to God. Like, cause the way we, what we had going on, we was, it was the blind leading the blind. Like, you can't fight fire with fire. Like, if a fire burner, you can't go put fire out with fire. You gotta throw some water on there or something, you feel me? Like, so it, it was gonna keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. So I forgive them in my heart, truly. In my mind, I forget them. Um, but if they try to do me something, I ain't on that. I'm giving it to God, giving it to God, because it's too much for me to handle, brother. I'm not as angry as I was, because so I was real angry at first, where so I could have killed one of them. That's why I had to go get rid of my gun, because I didn't want to bump into one of them and kill them, so I just got rid of my gun. And you know what? It was crazy. I really, I honestly don't know. Like, I, I be, I've thought about that as many times in my head, but it's like, what more? Like, there's nothing that I can say that I'm taking back what they did. 
So at that, at that point, like, I don't have any words for you. Cause it's like, at that point, I'm wasting my words. You didn't give, like, you didn't give a fuck about me. So it's like, I don't, I don't care what happens at this point. I don't even want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. Like, it was just very, that was very negligent. And it was just some young nigga shit to do. Like, they were 17 year olds. Like, that's just, that's insane, bro. like, that's just, you're not even supposed to, legally not even supposed to be in there. So if someone shot my mom and I saw it happen, like I'd want that person to go to prison for like forever. But if, you know, if prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said prison? All right. Die. No, he ain't do it. No. He ain't do it. He didn't do it. No, ain't ain't nobody it. gonna say so, nothing. So if you saw Street it. Street justice. Yeah, you, he didn't do it. He didn't Street do justice. Street justice. They gonna catch him. Street oh, justice. Do it. That's what's gonna happen to him. That's your mama? Oh God, do your job, man. bitch, come find me. That's, That's what the guard judge, he did not back. do it. See when he said so, that bitch, free that boy. So, free that boy. So, if, let's say some, obviously, like, my up situation, someone shot your mom and you went to court, you'd say it wasn't him even if you saw it happen. Oh, it definitely. Him. This definitely not him for moms. Him. This number one, it's definitely not him for moms. Cook family, him. let him out of jail. It wasn't him. Free him. It see, see, him. The, the general public would find that crazy. The general public. That's how public. they go, though. That's how they go, though. We not in no, man, we in the streets, We in the streets with it. The general public. Man, them, them, they, they talking about justice and go to jail for life and all that. No, man. Let them make more. That is my witness. That is my witness. Let them make more. Hey, what the fuck? You kill my mama. You tell me if somebody kill your mama, you don't want them dead? I would, bro, but again, I wouldn't have the means of doing it. Like, I would, for me, justice would be him never seeing Day or his family again. Thanks. If that makes sense. Look, that, that's that how makes I, sense I, I, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but see, we two different people. You don't come from the streets. So. See, you, you, I'm, I'm pretty sure you never had bullets flying across your face, hitting bricks, debris flying all in your face. Nah, you ain't never, uh, not you ain't being never been able to, not being able to walk in the mall and shop yeah, like a regular like, civilian. Yeah. You like, know, we can't shop like, like regular civilians. My mom probably wouldn't even yeah. me. She probably yeah. wouldn't even look at me the same. Like, I read it. Like, yeah. So, like, what the f in this life, even your own mom wouldn't want you oh, to. Oh, God. Like, oh, no, 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 no. You gotta take your no. leave. Unless your mom wanna know what's going on. It. Unless your mom wanna know what's going on. Yeah, think, think about it. Daddy wasn't done. So who you think raised you? Oh, man. My mom is a grown ass woman plus a good ass man. She told me everything I know. I laid a business in the streets before I was even thought about it. Anything I ever thought, anything I ever done, everything I ever thought I seen, she'd have seen it, did it, witnessed it, everything. The next generation who are jumping off the boards now, what would you say to them? Hey, put the guns down. Fight like a man, Craig. <laughs> you can do it. I had to fight all my life against the white folk, my kind. But I ain't going to fight gold. I'm just going to get to them and let them lead the way. And what would you say are the do's and don'ts of Baton Rouge? Do's and don'ts don't be no snitch. Snitches get stitches. And wind up in the what? Ditches. <laughs> so here's a question I ask when I go to the trenches. If so for me for example, if I saw someone got shot, so let's say someone shot my mum and I saw it, I would obviously go to the police and let them know so the consequences would be served. Out of pain. Out of pain. If you're in the streets and you've been slaying that bitch, <laughs> the police. Straight up. You gotta serve protect and ride or die for it. If you ain't in the streets, I ain't mad at you. You want to call 911? Like Mary J. Blas and John Wycliffe? <laughs> hey, help yourself. Because at the end of the day, me, I like to take matters in my own hand when it comes down to friends. Because <laughs> the police ain't going to do shit. They just going to say, man, look, just call us if you get in the county info. No, <laughs> bitch, you probably get some county info. I ain't going to do your job for you. And so far, everyone who I've interviewed in Baton Rouge has been shot. What about yourself? No, I don't do no shooting. I don't get shot, you know. And at the end of the day, I ain't going to incriminate myself because I don't know nothing. I ain't seen nothing. I wear a cap on. <laughs> and what I'm saying is, is the worst memory you have of, of being inside Baton Rouge? I lost a lot of gang gang. But at the, at the, at the, at the end of the day, I remain the same and stay strong. <laughs> And again, why do you think Baton Rouge is so violent? Why well, I think Baton Rouge is so violent? The economy is up. People look for a reason, like a season of Thanksgiving. Because uh, at the end of the day, nobody ain't getting you know you got to work for it. Don't be looking for no handouts. And a lot of people depend on their income tax and want to buy a buccal crawfish and get where at the end of the day. 
<laughs> they quit their job too and they looking crazy. You gotta keep that job. That's that three, four thousand dollars ain't gonna do nothing for you. You supposed to keep on. That little income tax. El Chapo! The income tax supposed to motivate you to keep on going and keep on going to work and pay your bills two, three, three um, months ahead. It's supposed to be motivation. Like I'm a motivational speaker, like you're a motivational speaker. That's how it's supposed to be. Because you never can have enough money in America, UK, India, or Africa. And I got another question for, from a tourist point of view. If I was to walk through this area with my girlfriend, would it be absolutely fine? I depend on how fine she is. Very fine. <laughs> oh, Lord, you got to need a gun. You don't need a gun. A sling shot ain't going to do it. You don't need some of the ladder. <laughs> so it, it wouldn't be good. Man, you both of y'all need one of them bitches. <laughs> I ain't gonna be my tail, you no lie. I don't give a fuck if a, a 22 or a nine millimeter with a ladder. You go, it just don't when you up that bitch, man, make, make sure that bitch. Hey. Damn. <laughs> man, make sure it dang. And guess what? When you hit, don't close your eyes. Put that, that trick on the index finger, not right here, you're putting the gun. Put it on the index finger, make sure everything is accurate. And inhale and exhale then. Living this life, oh, no, can, no, no, can no. you walk anywhere in uh -huh. Baton Rouge you want? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm about to tell you. I can walk through this bitch right here, man. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't even for the punt fake. I ain't even for the punt fake. No, man. No, no, ain't going in the op station just walking. No, yeah, yeah. No. And, and another thing as well, that, again, for the general public, I feel like this would be shocking. You can't really post your location anywhere. Oh, it's always. It's always. It's always. So, you, so when you're out and about, yeah, you literally, yeah. you literally can't post up where you are at that time, can you? Oh, no. 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 It's just, and, 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 and that's another thing that comes putting on your trail. Yeah. Putting on your trail. Yeah. Yeah. No, this bitch be small. Damn. Damn, don't lie. Damn. Oh, funk and shit. Bitch, I'm right here. Come pull up. We ain't never. You see how you just said, you right. you just said we, we be top five area? Nigga dead. This is going on. This bitch small. This bitch so small. This bitch so small. It's big, but it's small. You get what I'm saying? They got niggas who pump fake. Like, they really in the streets. Like they really out here doing something. They gonna need liquor than the dude like that, man. I ain't got nothing going. But yeah. the real, know the real. I got that bitch called Mr. Blissom. That bitch go like, it's Mr. Blissom, Blitz guard. Hit that bitch all in his face, it's Mr. Blissom. Bitch, I'm known to keep a gym, but keep a Drake. It's Mr. Blissom, you hit that Lord? You know that, ain't nobody safe. I walk down, pull a DOA. It's in my hand, not on my waist, yeah. Real talk, hold on, hold on. Left that nigga on his pavement, mama crying, telling him to get up. All my niggas circle with them K's. Get that boy, I fill up. They be like, Sarah stuck in his ways. Catch a body, then I'll cheer up. Nigga floating in that Honda, you ain't in it, put your bitch up. If I fuck with you, I fuck with Ain't no way I'ma switch up. If it's over two, it's over me, you better have your shit up. Keep it real, boy. Who you shot? Keep, it, Keep real. it real like who you dropped them bullets burn them bitches hot. I'll make you hot, but this ain't scotch. Hey, hey, hey. put that nigga on the shirt. Yeah, that was me. Hey, hey, hey. in your session lurking. Hoping that we meet, don't even know them niggas. Who the fuck them niggas supposed to be? They say they with it. When you see me, better squeeze. Yeah. Look, know how savage rocking when the shit get really low. We gon' spin a nigga block until they shit up four for four. Them niggas hiding and never outside. We gon' kick a nigga dough. Them niggas tripping, they was doing too much, so now they gotta go. Lord, yeah. You know what the fuck it is, man. It's awesome. Yeah, a whole lot of sh and do you think there'll ever be an end to the violence in Baton Rouge? Nah, no way. Fuck no. It's too up. It's too up already. Man, violence like is Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge is too up already, out man. Out there, man. Like, if I take you, if I take you around the corner right now, my Baton Rouge, my little twelve year old 